Okay, now here we have a Naginata cross music nib. So we get that Naginata shape again, but we also have the cross nib, so the two nibs on top of each other, and it's a music nib. Uh, I, I have to say, when I think of a music nib, I think of a three-tined nib, um, but I guess two-tined may work as well. I also think of a stubby nib. This is neither three-tined nor stubby, so I, I wonder what exactly made them uh, refer to this as music. What this will do is be extremely juicy. Naginata cross music. As you can see here, this is some serious nibbage. Uh, you can do it. You can use it upside down. I'm just going to write the quick brown fox to save some space because I will write that a couple of times for this nib. Um, you can also use it almost perpendicular to the paper. So I started with the feed pointing up. This is feed down, almost perpendicular to the paper. Uh, you can increase that angle or decrease it depending on the point of view you're using and then you can go all the way down and get this magnificent line this is extremely smooth and ultra wet and super broad this is not double broad I even think this is pushing it for triple broad so I would say this is something between triple and quadruple broad this is an enormously wide line um, you get a lot of line variation out of the shape of the nib. This is an architect grind as well. Thin, narrow, vertical strokes and broad, horizontal strokes. And that really adds a lot of um, fun and character to your handwriting even if it is not Asian style calligraphy but just normal everyday Western calligraphy. So it's almost like writing with a, a felt tipped pen this. Very very fascinating. Okay on to the next nib. Hope this was useful and I'll gladly see you later.